What's up, guys? It's Jay. We're gonna kill, and I'm back here on Destiny. And now that that Dick Fazer has gone back to where he comes from, ooh, I bet you he comes from his face. God damn it, Mac. <laughs> and the dust is settling from the stampede all weekend long on the Three of Coins. We can finally see the aftermath of just what farmable exotic engrams will do to Destiny. And it's not pretty. <laughs> all around the tower, we have Guardians showing off their brand new exotic gear and weapons gained from Three of Coin farming. But sadly, without a weekly heroic strike to do anymore, next week, when Jure comes, most Guardians ain't gonna have no lunch money to spend. <laughs> because they spent most of their strange coins this week farming. Or are they shit out of luck? So, without a steady source of strange coins each week, from the weekly heroic, a lot of people have been turning to Vanguard Strike Farming, which I tried the other night during the Vanguard Heroic playlist, and I, I, I gotta say, I got an ass ton of legendary gear. It seemed like every boss kill was dropping legendary engrams for days. But strange coins remained oddly missing from my loot pools. So, I had to do something drastic. I had to play. As a guardian, I'm so ashamed of myself to say this. I had to play. The Prison of Elders! Oh my god! <laughs> I'm sorry! I'm so ashamed. <laughs> Not seriously, no. The Prison of Elders is pretty much the neglected bastard child of destiny, but it's also currently the most lucrative farm in the game for strange coins. I farmed this shit last night for the better half of five to six hours straight and ended up with a total of 50 strange coins. Now, I know you're gonna be like, click and clack, Mac! That's a long ass time to be farming some prison of elders. Motherfucker, did, did I say that you need to be doing this for five motherfucking hours? No, I just wanted to stack up as many coins as possible to purchase as many three of coins as I can before Bungie gets back into the office this weekend and does some bad things to these items. <laughs> but every time you clear the prison, you get anywhere from one to five strange coins from the little chest. You also get some boats, and if you're lucky enough to get a treasure key from the side chest, the big chest opens up to give you a guaranteed three strange coins every time. Best part is... We're now level 40, with a higher light level than the prison when it was first released. So, with the new scaling system, this is listed as an easy rated activity and can be cleared easy as fuck. So, while it might not be the fastest farm in the world, netting about an average of 10 strange coins an hour, what that does mean is if you need strange coins for sure at the last minute, there is a reliable method to pick up something that he's selling with an hour or two of farming. And that, to me, is reasonable for an exotic piece of gear or weaponry, at the very least. So, my name is Jay. What did I have to kill? I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys read, comment, subscribe. If you can leave a thumbs up on the video, I'd highly appreciate it. It's the motivation to make more videos for you motherfuckers to watch my motherfucking videos. But I'm fairly certain that this is the reason that treasure keys are harder to obtain now since... They're trying to make strange coins a bit more harder and rarer to get these things. Even though they said they were going to be dropping from all the other loot sources, I haven't seen it. I ain't seen shit. <laughs> I'm looking, though. I'm looking. I just ain't seen it. So, my name's Jay. What did I have to kill? Thanks for watching. And I'm going to see you guys later.